Hey guys, I want to talk about something that gets brought up at the lounge from time to time. People tell me that their cigar tastes bitter. Sometimes they'll even tell me that they've smoked the same cigar a hundred times, but this time they had a different experience and it got better. Sometimes they'll tell me it started better. More times than not, they'll tell me that it just finished better. So I want to talk about maybe what could be causing that. First, let's look at how you're lighting the cigar. A lot of people, especially when they get started in cigars, they hear that lighting a cigar with matches is the best way to do it. Nothing wrong with it. I think it's a cool thing. A um, little bit romantic, lighting your cigar with a match. That being said, most people go into their junk drawer and pull out a box of matches. Um, those are probably household matches. Household matches have sulfur in them. You don't want sulfur when you're lighting your cigar. If you're lighting your barbecue grill, probably perfectly fine. So you wanna make sure you get sulfur-free matches. Um, additionally, most cigar matches are going to have cedar match sticks. So you're gonna get a little enhanced aroma from that cedar. So make sure you use matches designed for cigars. Most of the time, you're probably gonna find yourself lighting your cigar with a lighter. Throw out the Bics. You don't wanna use a Bic lighter. Um, that's in case of emergency only lighter for cigar smokers. You wanna use a lighter that's designed for premium cigars. Uh, most of the time that's gonna be a torch. There's some great soft flame options, but we're gonna look at torches because that's where most of the problems come from. So when you buy a torch, you wanna make sure that you can put your own butane in it, a refillable torch lighter. Most of them come that way these days. And you wanna make sure you use a premium butane. You wanna use a triple refined or better butane. A lot of the butanes that we sell are, are even better than triple refined, but it's very important that you're not using an inexpensive, you know, all-purpose butane that you might find at CVS, Walgreens, or your local head shop. So triple refined, um, premium butane is really important. While we're talking about lighters, we'll talk a little bit about uh, what, what type of lighters to use. Um, really, four or five flame lighters have become popular in, in recent years. Uh, and there are certain applications where I think that is the best lighter. Outdoors, on a boat, you know, on the golf course, you're smoking on your patio most of the time and it's windy. Um, that is probably the best lighter to use in those applications. If you have the budget to buy a second lighter, um, I really like single flame or two flame lighters for indoor use. Um, it just allows you a, to be a little more careful when you're lighting that cigar, a little more precise. If you're gonna have one lighter and it's gonna be a three, four, or five flame lighter, that's perfectly fine, I use those too. You just wanna make sure that you don't hold the lighter too close to the cigar where you're going to roast it. And when I say roast it, I mean you're gonna have an inch of char on the foot of your cigar when you light it. So just take your time with it, go slow, pay attention to the distance that you have from the cigar. And I think that you'll have a better smoking experience if you start with the right light. Um, while we're talking about starting the experience. Uh, let's talk about cutting it. I, you know, I don't care whether you use a punch, a, a V cut, a straight cut. Uh, that conversation is, is for another day. Um, but you do want to make sure that you open that cigar up enough that you get adequate airflow through the cigar. If you don't have adequate airflow through the cigar, one of two things is going to happen, or maybe both. Um, you're going to have to draw too hard on that cigar, and you're going to cause that cigar to heat up because you're really trying to muscle through getting the smoke through that cigar. Um, another thing that could happen, especially on uh, fuller bodied cigars that use thicker, more oily leaves, is that uh, that oil is gonna build up at the, at the head of the cigar, and that's gonna cause some bitter taste as you, get, um, as you get closer to the end of the cigar. Now let's talk a little bit about humidification. Humidification is important. Um, it's important for a lot of reasons. Uh, we can talk more about that later as well. Um, but you want to make sure that if, if it's, that you're at about 69, 70% humidity, um, 71, 72 is fine. You get over about 73, 74% humidity, the cigar's too wet. What happens to a cigar that's too wet is, again, you're going to have to really work to keep that cigar lit. You're going to have to pull on it really hard, and you're going to create some harsh flavors and some bitterness as you do that. Um, on the opposite side of the spectrum, uh, cigars that are too dry, are gonna to burn too fast. They're gonna heat up and burn too fast. So you wanna make sure that you have properly humidified cigars. I like using Boveda. I prefer 69 on most of the stuff I smoke, but as long as you're between about 66, 67% humidity and 72% humidity, your cigar should smoke perfect. Um, it's when it's too, too moist or too dry that you have a problem. Um, 
next thing I want to talk about, and this is the one that's most important to me because this is the thing that I see the most. Um, I tend to be a fast smoker, so I have to pay attention to this. Um, what happens is when you smoke a cigar too fast, um, you smoke a cigar too fast, it starts to heat up. And when it starts to heat up, you can get some bitterness. So what you want to do is you want to keep a pace of, on smoking your cigar. But you don't have to relight it five or six times during the cigar, but also that it doesn't get too hot. One trick that I like to use is if I put my pinky, you know, don't burn yourself, but put your pinky about a quarter of an inch away from the ash on your cigar. And if that's hot to the touch, then you're likely smoking too fast and you need to slow down. So to me, that's the most common thing. I think they're all important. And then I think this is the most obvious one, but we should probably mention, you wanna make sure that you're smoking uh, premium cigars. Um, if you're smoking inexpensive cigars, it may have nothing to do with the way that you're smoking a cigar. It may have everything to do with being very young tobacco. Um, young tobacco typically is going to deliver um, you know, more harshness, uh, more bitterness. Um, and when I say premium cigars, look, we all in the cigar community love a good $20 cigar. And if you can afford it, by all means, you should, you should enjoy it. But if you, if you find uh, cigars at about seven, eight, um, you know, maybe eight to $12, you can generally find uh, well-aged tobacco in that price point. So, you know, when you're smoking cigars that are three, four, five dollars, tend to be a little bit younger tobacco. It's gonna be harder, even if you do everything right, to get as good of an experience out of it. Uh, so talk to your local retailer, um, drop us some questions. If you have questions about what's a good cigar, um, what's not, um, you know, a, a lot of that's going to be your preference, but you know, we can talk to you about where you can get a lot of bang for your buck. So that eight to $12 range is kind of the sweet spot to start getting well-aged tobacco. Anyway, I hope this helps your cigar smoking experience. If you guys have any questions, feel free to let us know or go talk to your local tobacconist.